Okay, this designer may be more familiar to some of you. Coco Chanel, okay? Within the notes, you can see it, um, the, her exact birth name, what was put on her birth certificate. I just kept it more to what we know her as today, and that is Coco Chanel. Um, she was born in 1883, and her fashion house is the house of Chanel. Um, she was known for mainly the little black dress. I think a lot of people associate her with uh, tweed and the Chanel suit, but she was mainly known as the person that sort of like made the little black dress iconic, which is also called the LBD. So that's just the abbreviated version of the little black dress. Um, if you, again, look at the notes and sort of see some of her designs, you can see sort of like where she started and what she was known for, as well as even down to the current Chanel that we see today. And those features are, yes, the tweed fabric, the pearls, the overlapping CC logo. Chanel was one of, also one of the first designers to pioneer that uh, mixing costume or faux jewelry with real jewelry. So a lot of high society women, they would obviously wear these enormous elaborate jewels, but it allowed the everyday woman to sort of indulge in the same thing, but also not they couldn't access obviously those very expensive jewels so it allowed them to sort of have the same chic look without having to have the actual real jewels to pull it off so she was one of the first pioneers to that look um, chanel was not a designer herself meaning she was more of someone who attributed to the style and the output of the garment but she had no formal training in sewing or fashion design she dies in 1971, however, obviously her house still stands today, it's still a part of the Who Couture Syndicate and she, um, her legacy has surpassed her. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe. Videos are uploaded weekly covering dressmaking, fashion, lectures, and more. Enroll in Ladycloth U on Teachable for dressmaking and fashion design courses. See you again soon.